Good morning. Back on your Tuesday, 14 minutes past the hour. Yeah, let's check in with Aaron for an update on today's forecast. Yeah, we're going to see some sunshine, and that's going to continue through a large portion of this week. Yesterday evening, as we approached sunset, uh, we did see a few high-level clouds streaming across the region. That's pretty much what we can see uh, later today as well. But for the most part, we are going to continue to see this nice, quiet weather pattern uh, remain with us. That means overnight lows in the 30s, afternoon highs in the 40s and the 50s. Uh, last two days, we were sitting uh, right at seasonal, if not slightly above average. The warmest day uh, we've seen over the past two weeks was Sunday as we topped out uh, at 56 degrees. But for the most part, September as a whole, uh, once again, falling back below average when you're looking at the overall temperature trend. 28 degrees is what it feels like in Anchorage, 26 in Fairbanks, 19 degrees in Anaktuvik, and then along the slope, we've got those wind chills, 13 degrees in Dead Horse, uh, 28 in Unicleet, uh, southeast, actually seeing some warmer conditions and not really dealing with some wind chill concerns this morning, and that's largely due uh, to that area of low pressure that we continue to watch uh, out towards uh, southeast. This is a system uh, that's going to bring anywhere from an inch of rain out towards the southern inner channels to a quarter of an inch as you head towards uh, Taya Inlet as well as Lynn Canal. Ridge of high pressure to our north that is uh, controlling a large portion uh, of the quiet weather pattern that we're seeing across uh, mainland Alaska. So with this ridge of high pressure, this typically means uh, suppression of rain chances. We're going to see some sunnier skies, although we can expect to see some clouds here and there uh, as the ridge itself is well off to the north. Uh, but for the most part, that uh, high pressure ridge is certainly going to keep us on the drier side, uh, sunnier side, and pleasant when it comes to those afternoon uh, conditions. For today, uh, as you get out on the roads, no significant impact. You will watch for some frost on those wind chills, though, as we saw temperatures dip down near uh, freezing for a large portion of south central, even seeing some locations uh, in the upper 20s. Notice over the next few hours, we are going to stay in the 30s. 9 a.m., we will see uh, that temperature sitting in uh, right around 38 degrees, but we will rebound uh, about 20 degrees into the afternoon hours, back near 50 degrees for a large portion uh, of south central. So we stay dry across the region. Uh, southeast, continuing to see this area of low pressure really hug the coastline, and that's going to keep rain around today as well as into your Wednesday, although tomorrow uh, you can see most of the rain uh, really through the southern inner channels before it shifts off towards the north and then gradually tapers off uh, into the evening hours. So we'll see some dry time here and there. The overall trend is that southeast will continue to remain on the wet side. So showers and breezy today, upper 50s, lower 60s. You can see winds gusting anywhere from 15 uh, to 30 miles per hour. Another sunny fall day across south central. Coastal regions uh, of the Gulf Coast, I expected to see some breezy weather. Uh, that does include Kodiak Island as well, 56 in Valdez, 48 in Golcana. Uh, you can see those overnight conditions expected to dip back into the 30s, so some frost concerns again tomorrow. Maybe a light freeze along the Parks Highway. 50 in Wasilla, 52 degrees in Palmer. Uh, and then that seven-day forecast showing that uh, we're going to continue to see uh, quiet weather through the end of this week. Shower chances build back in by Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, temperatures also trending downward by Monday uh, at the start of next week. We're going to see those temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. All right. Thanks, Aaron.